Hey everybody. You know, I get a lot of questions on shooting RAW, the RAW file format in digital photography. So I thought I'd do a quick video and explain it in a simple manner. As simple as I can make it. If you have a digital camera that you've purchased in the past five years or more, you most likely, if it's a if it's a DSLR, you do have the option. If it's it, if it's an, you know, advanced compact, you most likely have it. If it's a compact, you might have it. The ability to shoot raw images, and if it does shoot raw images, then you have the option to shoot a JPEG or a raw image or both every time you push the button. And that's what I've done is I every time I push the button. I get a JPEG and a RAW image. This way, if I really like the photo, it really turned out well. Um, it's something I really want to keep, print, um, make look better, um, straighten, crop, adjust the white balance. I have the RAW image and I can do it the right way and lose no quality. That is the greatest advantage to shooting at the RAW image. Um, it, it has some downside, not much, but it does have some downside. It takes up a little more disk space, about three times as much as the JPEG alone, approximately, um, depending on what, you know, a lot of things. It can be a complex issue. But disk space and time are your two major, uh, you know, disadvantages to shooting raw. To me, disk space really isn't an issue. Um, I can install a new hard drive in almost any computer for very little money. You can get a lot of disk space. So to me, it's not an issue. Uh, that's not an issue. If you need help with installing a new hard drive, I probably have a video on it, if I remember right. It's very easy to install a new hard drive. So that leaves time. If you shoot RAW plus JPEG, you can continue how you've always, you know, you can continue shooting JPEGs as much as you want and do exactly the same thing you've always done and just have the RAW file as a backup, kind of a negative. Um, or uh, you can take any of those JPEGs, grab the RAW file and make any white balance changes, color, crop, straighten and anything and do it all in a lossless way so you lose no quality. That's the big upside to, to shooting raw. Um, you know, a lot of people just don't really get, understand it and that's why I'm doing this video. I do have two videos on how to make simple changes to an image and export a, a JPEG with two different software uh, programs. One's paid and one's free. One of them comes with Canon cameras, digital photo professional, and one you have to pay like 300 bucks for, Lightroom 3. So if you need help, there's that help too. Um, there's just a lot of upside to shooting raw. Um, it, it, it's, it's the best way to do it. If you're, if, if you're really interested in photography at all and you want to get the most out of your photos and your efforts, I would really suggest you that you at least try shooting raw, especially if you go out trying to get a great picture. Definitely shoot raw because you're gonna. Everybody ends up getting a great picture, and if you don't have that raw um, file, you're gonna be sorry someday. Um, at least I would be. So there you go. Give it a sh give it a shot. It doesn't take much to install the software that came with your camera or even buy uh, one of the cheaper programs or, or whatever, or try for free. You can try Adobe Lightroom 3 for free for 30 days, I believe, and see how you like it. Uh, give it a shot and, and, and see how you like it. It, uh, it. It's a great program. I really recommend Lightroom 3. That's what a lot of photographers use. Uh, of course, a lot of photographers use that in conjunction with uh, Photoshop and other programs. There are a number of different ways you can do it, but uh, you know, at least give it a try so you can try to get better photos. Hey, keep shooting and we'll talk to you guys soon.